Okay, so this is your tutorial on how to, um, what we call decoupage the um, bangles. Um, you should have received a bangle kit by now. Uh, and in there you either have a clear bangle or maybe one that is solid. Um, so I'm going to do these two. You want to first start with your theme and those would be your words or pictures that you're going to put inside the bangle. So when I say inside, because this is clear, what you do is you actually put the words behind and it doesn't matter how they're cut out. You can have them ripped or torn. Um, you need a paintbrush that's kind of stiff, uh, which you should have in your kit. And then you have a little small container of Mod Podge. Um, this is different than a regular glue because what this does is it seals whatever you put inside, which means that if this gets wet, um, the words are not going to get damaged. So you want to start by dipping your brush inside the paint, I'm sorry, inside the glue, and then on the inside of the bracelet, you just kind of rub a little bit of glue inside. You don't want to fill up the whole bracelet because it'll dry by the time you get all of your words in there. This stuff dries pretty quickly, so if you can put it back in, um, do so. If not, just um, sit it on top of your cup or somewhere on the table. You'll notice I'm working with uh, tissue paper just to kind of cover my space. And I put my words in here kind of crooked just to be a little bit more creative. I take that same brush. I'm going to press down on top of it with some more glue. That is the process of decoupage, and we all have done collaging before, probably in elementary school. Um, but normally with that, you just put your glue down, then your magazine cut out or whatever you're... Or even when you do vision boards, a lot of times we just put glue and then we glue the words or the pictures, and rarely do we go back on top of it. But what this does is it seals what I just glued with a protection on top. So I have a little bit that overlapped. I can push that over with my finger or the brush, or I can go back with scissors and cut it. And sometimes what I do is use the edge of my brush to kind of go and push this down in case there are air, bub air bubbles in there. So now you can see that that is actually inside the bracelet. And I'm going to continue that with the rest of the words. Um, I always say cut out more than what you might need because once you get started you want to go ahead and finish decoupaging the whole bracelet um, so I chose life is simple I'm sorry simple is beautiful I'm gonna put soul in but I'm gonna put it in upside down again just to be a little different do something creative these bracelets are kind of like vision boards that you can wear so again I'm taking more Mod Podge and I'm going on top and I'm pressing pretty hard with my brush so that I get any air bubbles in there um, out. So again, I'm gonna use the back of the brush. The thicker your paper, the more you can do this because it won't rip so much. All right, and I'm just gonna keep going until all of the words that I want in here are sealed. Of course, the more surface you have with your bracelet, the more you can actually get inside of it. So the next one I chose was smart. And this is just a generically positive bangle. So notice this one's not sticking. That's because I don't have enough glue at this end. You can always go back and add glue underneath. Once this is glued in, I cannot peel it back out. So please be careful with where you want to put your pieces. If I try to pull this up, in some cases, the words will stick because that's still pretty wet. I can move and position it. And that word, because I cut it, is acting a little goofy, but it's okay. It'll dry in just a second. It'll be fine. All right, again, I have a little bit of overlap, overhang off the side. I just want to fold that back. I don't want any edges hanging over. 
and I can actually smooth it out with my finger. All right, I think I have space for maybe one. Actually, I'm gonna do some smaller words just to kind of show you how that works. So I have a couple of strips where they are smaller. If you're not sure if they'll fit, you can always just kind of put them here to see. Um, this one I don't think will fit unless I go on a really diagonal bias on it, which I might do. Um, and then this one might fit in there. So again, I'm just doing this for an example. So we'll play around with it. If I don't like it, I'll just take it out and do something else. And just make sure that you are gluing them in face down. Your words should go face down. This does wash off your hands, so if you get some on your fingers, it's okay. You'll be able to wash it off once you're done. All right, so here's an example where I want this to show a little bit more, so I'm going to scrape this up, and you'll see I have to use my fingernail to scrape it. And then I'm going to just overlap that back on top. And some of those tricks come a little bit easier after you've done this for a while. So on your first try, I would not recommend that you try to peel anything up. All right, I have one more little space in here. I'm just adding more glue. I think I want to put no, just because it may fit a little bit better. Um, you won't be able to see it because it's going to be covered. But you can tell that that's K-N-O-W behind there. Um, and this bangle is a little bit beat up. It's one of the ones that I made several years ago when I used to pour my own bangles. But they, um, they're they hard to do because resin is very temperamental. So sometimes they come out clear with no bubbles and smooth edges, and sometimes they don't. Um, so instead of me spending a lot of money pouring my own bangles, I just try to find a manufacturer that can produce them for me or a supplier. All right, so if you take a look, that entire bangle has words all throughout it. Now you have a lot of empty spaces in there. This is where your tissue paper comes in. And the tissue paper that I use is a, um, it's an art tissue paper and it actually bleeds through. So I'm coming back with even more Mod Podge and I'm going to choose a piece of this greenish color. It has a lot more pigment to it so it bleeds a lot you may not be able to see it immediately through the bracelet but as I'm brushing it on you can already see my paintbrushes change colors and you want to do this before the glue underneath the words dry too much because once it's dry because remember I said it's like a sealant once it cures that color may not bleed as much but you'll slowly be able to see that color come through and it'll dye the background of those words. I like to overlap my tissue paper. So I'm gonna go with like a dark royal purple. And this particular piece is gonna be a little bit wider than my bracelet, so you'll see an overhang. I'm not cleaning my brush at all. I'm just continuing with the decoupage method. This overhang, I just take my brush and I fold it over and brush it down. Again, I can go back with my finger and smooth it out. And I just continue to build. And I try to find colors that look nice when they bleed through. Um, so because that's dark, I really should have gone with a, a brighter color, but it's okay. This next one I'm going to do, um, let's try this, let's do the green. This is more of a light color, so it's not going to show as much. And all I'm doing is just trying to cover up the spaces that don't have anything in the background. And it dries pretty translucent. So it's going to look as if the resin is colored. 
And if you leave a little bit, like right in here, that doesn't have tissue paper, that's fine. It'll just look um, transparent. Now, if you're looking for a color that you don't have, for example, purple is a very popular color, but I don't have a bleeding uh, vivid purple tissue paper. So what I'm going to do is use this fuchsia, and some of you may have this in your kit. I'm going to use this fuchsia. And I'm going to overlap it with the blue. Uh, we learned in primary school that red and blue make purple. So pink is a family member of red. So when I put this blue on top of it, and you can rip off whatever size you need. Once this dries, it's going to have a purple coloration to it. And you can actually see my brush turning purple from the blue and the pink. I'm just going to flip this over and you'll actually see where that pink becomes purple. So if it's doing it on this side, that means it's also going to do it on the opposite side of the bangle. This is one of those projects you cannot be afraid to get your hands dirty. All right, and we are almost done. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish adding different colors of tissue paper. I think I wanna pick up this red. Um, and sometimes if it's separated, you can just kinda of pick it up with your brush because it's wet and you just place it inside the bangle. And I like using the variety of color because it makes it more versatile of an accessory. You can wear it with a lot of different colors. But if blue is your favorite color um, and you request all blue, what I try to do is send you a um, variety of different blues. I have a light turquoise, a dark turquoise, um, somewhat of a royal blue, and then that royal purple. And when you overlap them, you end up getting different shades of blue. All right, we are officially done once I fold this little edge over. And again, you wanna go around, like right here I have something that's lifted. If that continues to lift, if water gets under there and it's not sealed, it will get water underneath those words and then your words will start peeling. So now I'm just taking my finger with the wet Mod Podge and just kind of rubbing it around the edge so that it seals all of those edges. And now your bangle is done. After a few minutes, even here, you can kind of see that paper changing colors. All right, so that is the clear bangle and that doesn't matter if you have resin or if you have plastic. Um, so now I wanna show the application for working on a bangle that is not see-through or transparent. Um, and right now that's all I have for the larger wrists. Um, I am in negotiations right now and I don't know when you're gonna see this video, but hopefully I'll have some clear bangles in the larger sizes with the larger openings. So as you can see, I'm still starting with um, my cutouts, just like I had for the clear bangle. But now I'm going to put the Mod Podge on the outside of my bangle. And this one is a Black Lives Matter. Again, you can put this wherever you want in any direction you want. Um, I'm just gonna kind of center it. And then I go back on top of it, pressing down. And this is not a fully smooth bangle, so I wanna make sure that it's laying as flat as possible on those bumps and ridges. And I'm gonna go back over one more time with more Mod Podge. Now, I have a an inkjet printer, which means that this ink will bleed if you over rub it. So try to only use um, enough Mod Podge just to kind of seal it down. Again, I'm using the edge just to slightly rub, all right? 
Um, this time I'm going to use a picture. That's the um, power fist. I can find a place where I think I might want to put it. I'm going to try to center it on the opposite side of the bangle. This fist has um, all the names or a variety of names of those people that we've lost um, due to police brutality. So even your pictures, if you print off photographs of family members, you can put those on bangles. I've done several bangles in honor of birthdays or new births or weddings. All right. Um, this one, because the names are here, I'm going to do breathe on the back and then I'm going to show you a little trick to make it look like this is yellow. Um, when it's on the inside of the bracelet, it's easy to change the color from the opposite side. But here, if I don't do anything, once this dries, it's still going to look white. And it's nothing wrong with it, but sometimes people like uniformity. So what I would now do is take yellow tissue paper. Um, and I want it to be pretty thin. I don't want too much. But I would lay that on top of my word. That's a little bit longer than I want. So I'm going to tear some of the extra off. And then I just come back through with my podge on top. And you see now I can still see the breathe, but it's now the same color as the bracelet. And it only works this way or this well with transparency if you use one piece of tissue paper. So if you're trying to get purple by overlapping pink and blue, you tend to lose your word because the um, the tissue paper is it becomes too thick when you layer it. So once that dries, you'll be able to see that word a little bit more clearly. Um, I like to do balance sometimes, so I'm going to put another diagonal word over here. Um, I just put the knowledge. And I just randomly cut some things. Um, I think I'm going to make this as a gift. And that's the cool part about these. You can make them for yourself, but they are also great for um, gifts and presents. And I'm just kind of folding that over. Now, I want to be careful over here on this opening. If I end up putting glue here, then it won't be able to um, open, which means that the purpose for it opening will no longer be valid. So you just want to be very careful. Um, that might be all I do on it. I just kind of wanted to show you, again, you can make them very simple or you can make them um, as decorative as you'd like. Um, you don't have to use bleed through tissue paper. You can use regular tissue paper. So this is like a, a designer type animal print. Um, and maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll just do some random rips and add some decoration to this one. So I think I'll put a strip of animal print down here at the bottom. And again, I'm just trying to show you a little bit of variety. So depending upon what you have at home versus what you got in your kit, you may be able to add a little flavor. Um, and after you've done these for a while, you will realize you have some tissue paper left over. You may have some words left over because I try to give you more than what you need in your kit. And if that's the case and you want to only buy um, additional bangles, to decorate you can always go on that same etsy page or just inbox me and let me know what um bangles you need what size or color or if you want plastic or resin and i'll do the same thing on top and i just go back on top 
This one wrinkled a little bit, so I'm going to pull it while wet. And you now have two bangles that have been done. Of course, it will take you a little bit more time just simply because this is, in many cases, your first time doing it. But I have been doing these for years, so I do work a little bit quicker. So that's one. And I just wanted to bring this one back over to show you those colors are still kind of coming through. It normally takes a good 24 hours for the bangles to fully cure, depending upon how much glue you use. If you get any glue on the outside, you will be able to scratch it off within that 24 hour period. Um, after that, it may be difficult to get that extra off. So you can see where that yellow and red kind of made an orangey color. Um, that blue and pink, you can see that purple coming through. That's where the blue and pink was. And I have a little bit of an opening here. See that? So I've got to seal that down. Otherwise, if I wash my hands, I'm going to end up getting water under there. So please make sure that those edges are completely glued down. All right. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your um, interest in creating and doing arts and crafts. And thanks for supporting my, uh, my art business. Thank you guys. Until next time. Peace.